So before we start DIY Saturday, make sure you guys have entered the giveaway that I have going on for a few of the DIYs that I am giving away. Uh, I haven't put a photo on my Instagram yet of the things that I am giving away, but I am taking it and you guys will get that photo either this Saturday or probably sometime next week. I know I said last week I was going to do it, but just so much has went on you guys that I haven't had time. So I'm really sorry for that. Also, to be entered into the giveaway, make sure you like five of my Instagram posts or even like my Facebook page and like five of my Facebook posts. Please leave f comments on each post that you like. That lets me know that you are into, into the giveaway. But after you do that, please make sure that you leave me a comment on YouTube under any video. It could be an old video you see on the channel. Please don't do that. But <laughs> it could be any video. Just make sure you leave a comment so I could know on YouTube that you guys are into, into the giveaway. That way when I contact you, I'm gonna say your names and then contact me or I'll try to contact you because every time I would do a giveaway on my blog, no one would contact me, so I had to chase the person. So just let me know on YouTube so I can chase you, okay? So you guys, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into this D. I Y Saturday. Hit it! Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandera. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas. Welcome to DIY Saturday. Today we're making a Hawaiian red clay or red clay sea salt lemon bar. <laughs> so these are going to be really fun to make. They have a lovely lemon fragrance oil. We are not going to use essential oils because this fragrance oil does mimic a very popular uh, perfume so we're gonna use it because it's actually one of my favorite perfumes and when I found this fragrance oil, I was like oh my god it smells so good so I'm gonna leave the name of the perfume down in the comments below so you guys can know so let's get into the ingredient you need for this DIY Saturday you will need um, Hawaiian sea salt so you really don't need hawaiian sea salt it's just my sister went to hawaii well she practically lives in hawaii it's like her second home even though she's from la and she's in philly now her second home is hawaii she stayed there for like two years three years and she stays there on and off so she sent me this the last time she was living there for a few months she sent me this uh, Aloha salt. You can use Himalayan sea salt if you like. I'm just calling these Hawaiian salt bars because of course it's sea salt and it's a baked Hawaiian clay. I don't know how you say that in Hawaiian. I think it's Alia. Ali Ala Ea Ala Ea Ala Ea. I think. I don't know. I really don't know Hawaiian language, but I'm just assuming. So you guys, you will need this. You also will need melt and pour soap. So this would be an easy DIY that anyone could make. So you guys, let's go make our easy Hawaiian red clay lemon salt bars. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to start making our beautiful Hawaiian red clay salt lemon bar now for this you will need 20 ounces of melt and pour soap so make sure you melt in your microwave 20 ounces of melt and pour soap so let's get started with making these beautiful beautiful bars we want to first begin to add a bit of color into our a cup any type of cup you like and you want to add a little bit of alcohol and you want to spray oh you want to spray your color you guys just a bit just spray it 
Um, it will kind of dust everywhere as it just did, so <laughs> yes. Okay, so once you spray it, you spray it a little more. You want to mix it with any type of brush you have and just mix the color into the alcohol just to make sure all your color pigment is mixed into the alcohol because this is what you want to add to your melt and pour. So right now I'm just mixing this color in. And I'm making sure all the clumps are out and the color is evenly dispersed into the alcohol mixture because I want to color my soap this beautiful, lovely color. So once it's sort of mixed in like this, you want to begin to add it to your soap. Uh, you can use turmeric powder if you like. I did not use turmeric powder. And the reason why I did not use turmeric powder because it tends to fade. And because I'm giving this away to my Ahona on YouTube, I don't want the color to sort of fade. So it's going to be a pretty light yellow. That's what I'm sort of going for. So once you add your color, you want to start adding your additive. So we're going to add a bit of calendula and you don't need a lot of calendula, just a little bit. Just because calendula helps with dry skin and remember we're in a weather, dry weather, winter weather and it's really harsh on the skin and calendula helps with that. So you just want to add just a bit of it and when I know that I've added enough calendula because I'm not going to add a lot but enough calendula is when I scoop it up with the spatula and I see some on the tip and so I need a bit more so that's how I eyeball it that's my little tip for you guys and I bought this calendula at Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below to where I got it. And I don't want too much calendula because as I said in the beginning, I sort of want my salt to stick out as well. So there we go. But look how beautiful it looks. That is enough calendula, you guys. So we're not going to add too much of it because it will go to the bottom with the salt as well so now you want to add your miracle glow oil which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com and miracle glow oil is our oils that we're adding to our beautiful melt and pour soap so what you want to do is add about 20, 10 to 20 drops of miracle glow oil and remember now it has 24 karat gold in it which is beautiful 24 karat magic in the air so you just add your miracle glow oil and then you mix it in so it can expand with your soap you guys the soap is coming out a beautiful color so once we're finished mixing in our Miracle Glow oil, you want to add your fragrance oils. Now, I measured this out. Let me talk about our fragrance oils a bit. Um, I measured this out with the, uh, I'll show you. I measured it out on my scale and the tip of this was flat and I used a pipette to measure it, it out. And it came out to the top of the brim. 3.0 ounces so we're going to do a tablespoon and a half a tablespoon of it and remember i measure all my oils because each oil is different when you measure it out so you need to measure oils because you know uh some oils are thicker some are lighter some are runnier you know it just all depends so we're going to use 3.0 ounces, which is about a tablespoon of this beautiful fragrance oil. And I got this on Amazon, and it's like a crafter's choice version of it. So, yes. And then we're going to just add a half a tablespoon. We're going to mix that in really well, you guys. And it's called Verb... Verbena, verbena, that's the name of the fragrance, oil verbena. And then once it's mixed together, this smells so delicious, you guys. Oh my God. You want to add a tablespoon of this 
of you can use Himalayan sea salt but I'm using this because my sister got it she's obsessed with Hawaii that's like her second home which is really weird because we're both from LA but Hawaii is her second home I think Philly is her first home because she never leaves Philly is crazy so your soap should be cool now I don't like to add um I like my soap to not be cold but like warm because it's still easy to um move or it's still easy to stir but at the same time it won't melt your salt so i like a warm soap and this is more of an exfoliant sort of so look at how beautiful and this is probably going to turn the soap a color too i may have to do another recipe with these beautiful salts she sent me this stuff is just lovely. May have to send her a bar too. She'll be so happy. I'm going to do uh, another tablespoon because this is a half a tablespoon. So I'm going to do another tablespoon. I don't want to add too much because we're going to add a few to our molds. So, yes. And I know I said I was going to start my uh, No Lie Soaping series. A lot of you have been like, where is that at? You guys, I've been really busy with just so much. I have so many other recipes in the works for you guys. Also, it's just I'm really trying to formulate them recipes. And it can be pretty hard when, you know, you're working. Uh, you, you work and then you do your YouTube videos. It could be kind of hard to make sure you formulate the recipes correctly. But you know what? I, in February, we're going to do the, we're going to start the soaping series. I'm going to just get it done in February for you guys because I know a lot of you would like me to do um, easy, easy recipes with um, lye. So now you want to use alcohol and you want to spray the bottom. And this helps with just bubbles so you don't have any bubbles in to make it look pretty. Oh, and I also want to talk to you guys a little bit. I'll probably, whoever wins the giveaway, I'll probably send a card to. Um, the Sugar Scrub, uh, the Sugar Scrub Valentine's Heart Bars did um, brown a little bit. And that's because I used a fragrance oil that had vanilla in it. And I didn't have any more, more vanilla fragrance oil that prevents browning because it's technically that's what it's called it's not a vanilla fragrance oil but it prevents browning I didn't have any more so the sugar scrubs will be a little brown but you know you guys I said when we were giving them away most of these won't be pretty but they'll be smell really nice so you want to pour just like so and you want to spray the top to get rid of the bubbles so let's do this again like so and if you can see like that orangish color orangish color that's from the himalayan or the alaskan baked clay salt i really hope you guys enjoy this giveaway you know you guys don't understand how much you mean to me how much you mean to me i really am so happy that you guys watch my videos you comment on my videos you watch my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram. I'm really happy. So if I could just do this is as much if this is all I could do for you just to thank you and just show you how much I appreciate you guys. So I really hope you enjoy it. I really do. So for the last few, I will just probably not add any salt. Just make sure it's spray really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop out some of the salt and pour it at the bottom like that. And then I'm going to pour the soap over it. So sort of like this. There we go. And then I'm going to spray it. You got to get rid of all those bubbles, you guys, just to make it pretty. And then here's the last one. 
So there you have it, our pink lemon salt bars. Uh, I'll be back to unmold these babies, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye! Okay, so we're back, and now we're going to unmold our beautiful lemon Himalayan salt bars. So let's unmold this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look it. Look at you guys. Look how lovely that is. Oh my god, this came out lovely. I really love it. Let me put a glove on so I don't get any fingerprints on them. <sighs> These are so beautiful. Let's do another one. <gasps> oh my god, you guys, look it. Just look it. Oh, and look at the calendula. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Can you see? Oh my god, let's do another one. Oh, these are just lovely. I can't wait to photograph them. Let's do the big one that overfell. Pretty thick. Or Oh, look it. Look how beautiful. Aren't they lovely? I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. Make sure you pick up Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in our next DIY Saturday. Bye, you guys.